Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Luke Innes. I'm going to try and do this video today with minimal editing. Um, as you no doubt know, um, well, <laughs> we've lost the uh, possibly the greatest director in horror films, um, I would say. One of the greatest, if not the absolute greatest. George A. Romero has passed away, aged 77. Um, the news broke last night. And I felt the need to put a video out because... I guess... I just, I just wanted to... I just wanted to say what the man's films meant to me, I guess, um, is what this is all about. Um, I had a couple of videos planned um, today that I was going to get around to that I don't really feel like doing now. I just wanted to do this. Hopefully I'll do those videos in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just didn't really feel like it given... Um, that there was a more pressing issue to talk about and something that I wanted to... Um, kind of get off my chest um, yeah George Romero um, the uh, father of the modern zombie film uh, passed away after a apparently brief but aggressive battle with lung cancer um, I think the thing that George Romero will most be remembered for is, of course, the zombie movie. As a result of uh, one film and one film in particular, I've you know I forgot to grab it off the shelf. I should have grabbed a few films off the shelf just to talk about. But uh, Night of the Living Dead, he uh, made you know arguably the most important horror movie of all time in terms of the evolution of horror. You know, when you look at what horror was before Night of the Living Dead and what it became, the the guy was a real trailblazer. You know, it was one of the one of the first movies to be produced outside of the studio system and go on to do big business. Uh, it was uh, one of the first movies with a black actor playing the hero, the leading hero. Um, the whole movie is just a triumph. Night of the Living Dead is a triumph. You know, it's going to be 50 years old next year. And it remains a very chilling, um, very scary movie. Um, and even, even with that, that's just the tip of the iceberg. The film is important on such a deeper level than that for the reasons that I've said. I mean, you know, without that movie, we wouldn't have so much of uh, what horror became you know uh, without that movie you know films like even i would say things like the texas chainsaw massacre or how ha even halloween wouldn't exist i mean these kind of you know low budget horror movies that were made by people you know with i i guess just a you know an idea and and, and a dream i guess um so that's the important thing and that's really even then only the tip of the iceberg you know in his career because i mean night of the living dead is an amazing film even if you take all of the contextual factors away from it um you know if you move on from that to dawn of the dead romero's second zombie movie you know you're talking about the Citizen Kane of horror films, you know, objectively one of the best horror films ever made. Um, it incorporated um, such a vivid amount of social satire into a horror film, you know, on a level that has never been um, beaten before or since, you know. Pardon me. You know, it's not the most, how do I put it? It's not the most coded movie. You know, it's not, 
um, you know, the themes are quite, you know, vivid and there to be seen. Um, but at the same time, it's a movie that you can read so much into. Um, I think there's, uh, there's an awful, awful lot that has to be said for Dawn of the Dead. Um, you know, it's commentary on, uh, consumerism, um, you know, the human condition, uh, things like that, you know, um, uh, you know, fight or flight, um, you know, uh, property things like that I, I just think it's such a, a vividly memorable film in terms of its i guess just what it does you know <laughs> and i think that's the thing with, with george romero his movies always had i guess social conscience um you know you look at I guess the context of, of, of all of his movies um, and they you know that they, 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 they contain a lot of major themes of their day you know Night of the Living Dead I guess had an implicit commentary on uh, race and the civil rights movement and uh, that sort of thing the Vietnam War um, you know moving on to Dawn of the Dead obviously you got stuff like uh, consumerism you know uh, the you know, the boom time of the of the late 70s um, you know, uh, rampant materialism, that sort of thing. Um, and then with Day of the Dead, you start to get into a lot more sort of heavy ethical matters. Um, you know, it, it, this whole idea of control of who is the, I guess, the dominant, um, you know, in this situation where you know the zombies have taken over what right do i guess humans have to you know believe that they should be the one who the ones who survive you know and that's a theme that that goes on in such movies to this day you know like the girl with all the gifts my favorite film of last year um contains you know, a great deal of influence from Day of the Dead, um, clearly, um, you know, and uh, stuff like that, that was a major theme, I guess, of the movie, was was the theme of, you know, one species kind of being forced to lay down its life for another. Um, and that, you know, like I say, it's a theme, it's a theme that is still, you know, rift on to this day I think um, but yeah I mean George Romero um, you're talking about a guy with an incredible social conscience um, an incredible vision for filmmaking um, you know he had he had so many incredible ideas you know you look at the way the the dead movies progressed you know every, every one of them you know, felt like it was doing something new within within the genre, um, I guess, to an extent. You know, to varying degrees of success, of course. Um, and I mean, he did he did a bunch of other great films as well. You know, Creep Show um, is a great film. The Crazies is fantastic. Um, Martin is great. Um, but you know, like I say, we're here we're here, I guess, to remember him and pay our homage and respects as horror fans because the genre we love no doubt would be a different landscape today i'm not saying it would still be you know 1967 but it would be a different place like i said i don't think you would have got movies like uh the texas chainsaw massacre or halloween or even going into, um, you know, I mean, you definitely wouldn't have gotten anything like Return of the Living Dead, 28 Days Later, Brain Dead, any movies like this. And, you know, the precedent it set for controversy, I guess, was uh, kind of a big deal as well. Um, you know, movies like Cannibal Holocaust and uh, stuff like that, you know, Ultimately, they're just following in the footsteps of being the transgressive movies that, you know, Night of the Living Dead was in its day.
so I guess you know what I'm trying to say in order to wrap this video up is that uh, you know much as it's sad that he's died um, I'm just glad that he lived I'm glad that George Romero lived to give us these great movies that will um, ensure that his legacy goes on beyond his life and beyond his family there are a legion of fans out there myself included and presumably you watching this who will cherish those movies and love those movies and will go back and we'll watch dawn of the dead and we'll watch you know light of the living dead and the crazies and creep show over and over again because they're they're classic movies you know um so yeah i guess i guess what i'm trying to say is i'm just i'm just thankful george romero lived and did his thing and created the movies he did because without him you know the landscape of horror could potentially be very different um and like i said i think a lot of classic movies possibly would never have gotten made without him so yeah thank you very much and rest in peace mr george a romero Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I won't bother doing all my plugs. You know, the, you'll know where to find all the stuff. Just check out the comments, etc., uh, and you'll find all the stuff that I, have, that I do outside of this. But thank you very much for watching, anyway.